Hey everyone, I'm Derek from Inside Gaming with Seagate. PlayStation 5 games are getting bigger and bolder with better graphics and bigger gameplay. So you're gonna need as much high speed storage as you can get. And that's why today we're gonna show you how to expand the overall capacity of your PS5 by installing a high speed M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Let's get inside. With the fall 2020 release of the PS5, gamers were able to elevate to a new level with the PlayStation's ultra high speed processing and built in PCIe Gen 4 SSD. Gamers now have some of the best choices for next gen console games, but also as time goes by and you've collected more and more games and media, the quicker that internal SSD starts to fill up. The solution, installing an M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD into the PS5's expansion slot. By adding a compatible Gen 4 SSD into the console, you can expand the storage capacity of the PS5 and play games straight from the expansion SSD while still maintaining the high speed load times and performance of the built-in storage. Before we get started on the installation, let's first talk a little bit about the expansion SSD requirements. First and foremost, the expansion SSD must be a PCIe Gen 4 x4 M.2 NVMe SSD and that PCIe Gen 4 means high speeds. PlayStation recommends an SSD with sequential read speeds of 5,500 megabytes per second or faster. So make sure you check your SSD performance before purchasing because not all PCIe Gen 4 SSDs get up to that 5,500 megabytes per second. Now with that high performance and high speed comes the need for us to talk about heat management. To maintain transfer rates and avoid thermal throttling, PlayStation recommends a secondary cooling structure like a heatsink to be used with the expansion SSD. You can buy an integrated heatsink and SSD, or you can add a third party heatsink to a bare drive. But before you buy a heatsink, make sure you check your console's dimension requirements. The heatsink should be no more than 110 millimeters long by 25 millimeters wide by 11.25 millimeters high. For a full breakdown on the PS5's M.2 SSD compatibility requirements, head to the Sony PlayStation link in our description. Now those specs and requirements may seem a little daunting, but don't be worried because Seagate has a drop-in solution with the FireCuda 530. The 530 is a PCIe Gen 4 SSD with sequential read speeds of up to 7300 megabytes per second and it's fully compatible with the PS5 expansion slot. The 530 comes in both a standard bear drive format or with a custom built-in heatsink. And the FireCuda 530 heatsink meets all of PlayStation dimension requirements, so it's an easy drop-in expansion solution. Today, we're gonna use the FireCuda 530 with heatsink to show you how to install an expansion SSD into the PS5. But before we get into installing, you're going to need a well-lit room, a flat surface, and a number one Phillips head screwdriver. Start by making sure your PS5 software is up to date by heading to settings, then system, followed by system software, and then system software update and settings. Here you'll select update system software before clicking update using internet. Once that software update is complete, we're going to press and hold the power button for three seconds to turn off your PS5 console. Remove all the cables and devices from the console and wait for the PS5 to cool down. If you haven't done so already, now is also the time to remove the standing base from the console. Before you open your PS5, make sure you touch a metal grounded object to remove any static electricity from your body. Not doing this step could cause damage to your FireCuda 530 SSD and or your PS5 console. Next, place your console on a flat surface and let's remove the cover. Position the console so the screw hole on the base is facing towards you with the PS5 logo face down and the power button on the left hand side. From here you'll place your palms near the top corners of the PS5 and gently pull up the cover and pull it towards yourself. Beneath it you'll find a long rectangle expansion slot cover with one screw securing it. Remove the screw using your Phillips screwdriver and pull the expansion slot cover away. Inside the expansion slot, you'll find a spacer that should be moved to the 2280 position. Now, take your FireCuda 530 by the edge and align it with the notch on the expansion connector, and then starting from a diagonally upward position, firmly insert it all the way into the slot. 
Make sure the Fire Cuda 530 is inserted completely or it can cause damage to your PS5. Next, tilt the Fire Cuda 530 down and fasten it with the included screws. Attach the expansion slot cover and fasten the screws onto the top. And reattach the PS5 cover, positioning it and sliding it into place until you hear a click. And there you have it. Now reconnect all your cords, turn on the power, and once the power is on, a formatting guide will take you through an on-screen directions for formatting the new expansion SSD. Finally, to ensure your games are downloading to the Fire Cuda 530, just head to your home screen and select Settings, then Storage, and then Installation Location. With the Fire Cuda 530 installed, you now have more space for games and apps, all playable at the same performance and speed as the internal SSD. Reach out and let us know how the Fire Cuda 530 is improving your PS5 gameplay. And until next time, enjoy your capacity expansion, happy gaming, and thanks for watching. What?